A new ferry service just months away from taking passengers to and from Treasure Island. KTV's Christian Captain joins us live tonight from TI. And Christian, hey, just chalk this up as another big change coming to the island that's really been decades in the making here. Yeah, you got it, Mike. For those who haven't been on Treasure Island in a while, there are a lot of changes out here. Everything from this new ferry landing here behind me to new housing under construction. San Francisco's newest neighborhood is a work in progress. Already, Treasure Island in the middle of the bay boasts a new ferry landing, and soon regular service will get underway. January 1st, 17 round trips a day start here. We think it's going to be a game changer, both for making Treasure Island such a special place, but for continuing our great city's connection with the bay. The new ferry service is just one part of the infrastructure already being built, like new roads and a new sewer system and geotechnical work aimed at protecting the island against global global warming, $600 million so far, with a lot more work to go. It is important to us that we provide housing of all different types, for all different income levels, that there is a rich um, network of public transportation and parks. It's those things together that are going to make this the greatest new neighborhood in San Francisco. Final plans seen in these artist renderings call for more than 300 acres of open space. And in the years to come, the Alamo boast more than 8,000 new homes. The first market rate homes on Yerba Buena Island are set to open next year as is this affordable housing with more than 100 units set aside for veterans. And so this building is going to be affordable for homeless veterans, low-income veterans, and so it has the moral imperative of being a former military base serving homeless veterans. 20 more parcels are already under development for market rate and below market rate housing. The mayor is saying reviving Treasure Island, adding new homes and new transit options like ferry service will play a critical role in easing San Francisco's housing crisis. And it's just amazing to see what this place is going to become for people and how this place is going to really begin to come alive again. And developers confirmed that the more than 2,000 people living on Treasure Island and Yerba Buena currently will be moved into the new housing as it is created. Eventually, developers say there will be 18,000 people living on this island in just a matter of years. We're live on Treasure Island in San Francisco. Christian Captain, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Hey, big investment, big project there, but exciting times, not only now, but in the future for TI. All right, Christian, thank you.